Review copy provided by Sony PlayStation Canada. Get more backup and lock down the airspace. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes! So not too long ago, superhero-based games were simply a punchline in the video game industry. Up until the Arkham franchise, they had always failed to recreate the magic of their source material. Fast forward to 2018, Spider-Man is once again getting a chance to expand the genre, through a huge sprawling open world as well as industry leading combat mechanics. And overall, it succeeds in telling a decent story along the way of its lengthy campaign. Hey, Pete. So, when you put up the game for the very first time, you'll notice in very refreshing manner there is no origin story whatsoever. Instead, you are dropped directly into the feet as well as the apartment of Peter Parker as he's trying to find a balance in life between a genius scientist as well as a modern day superhero. Overall, the story is well executed for the 20 to 25 hours that you're going to be playing the game, depending on the amount of side quests as well as collectibles you decide to go after. The pacing of the game seems somewhat off at the end though. Some of the more highly anticipated encounters and events seem somewhat rushed and unimaginative. But overall, the finale offers a satisfying conclusion as well in typical Marvel posting credits fashion, they offer some insight into the inevitable sequel. Where's the statue? In, in, in there. Definitely the highlight of this game is the combat and it is hands down the best free flowing combat mechanic system that I have ever experienced in any game whatsoever. Controls are extremely tight and responsive and Spider-Man's movements are pretty much seamless in terms of how he moves around the map. The free flowing combat never gets too difficult though and by the midpoint of the game, the game stops throwing any more surprises your way in terms of enemy types. In order to kind of keep things fresh, you'll need to make use of your array of gadgets as well as new combat techniques that you're going to learn along the way. In order to upgrade your gear as well as your skill set effectively, you'll need to partake in a variety of side activities as well as collection missions. But luckily, beyond the typical base clearing missions, the game does a good job of making sure each objective does feel unique in some sort of way. The game offers a balance of stealth and action in how you can approach a mission, but overall the stealth options are usually just temporary and they very often just culminate in an all-out brawl by the end of it. From start to finish though, some of my favorite moments in Spider-Man was just traversing the open world, web sling across New York. Web sling at the end of the game felt just as satisfying as it did at the very beginning of the game. In terms of graphics, the game maintains a solid 30 frames per second throughout its entire experience. Voice acting as well as facial animations is well executed. Load times do exist between missions, scenes, as well as fast traveling. They are never too long though, and moving throughout the open world overall is pretty much seamless. New York just looks fantastic, and my only wish is that you were able to explore more key landmarks a little bit more closely for more of a memorable experience, but set pieces, even though a lot have been spoiled through pre-release trailers, they are still worthwhile experiences first time around. So in conclusion, Marvel Spider-Man sets the new gold standard of free falling combat gameplay in the industry. However, the game does suffer from issues of pacing as well as mission variety near the back end of it. And even though the open world is massive and seamless, the environment and city of New York still feels somewhat unexplored when you reach the end game. But overall, it tells a satisfying story with some kick-ass gameplay and succeeds in the overall goal of making you feel like a badass superhero. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah... Uh...